Oh, shit, sorry. I didn't think there was anybody in here. I'll bet you didn't. Thieving little son bitch. Hey, well, relax. It's not like that. I was just looking for some parts to fix up my ride. I wasn't gonna steal anything. If it's parts you want, it's parts you can damn well buy. Jacob Graves is the name. Kyle Crane. Good to meet you, Kyle Crane. Now listen here. These parts is mine. You want some? I'll sell you some. But ain't nothing for free. Right, understood. Hey, listen, please. Oh, Christ. Shit, o okay, I'm listening. There, in there, that's my child. Don't, don't let him die of hunger. Don't let him suffer.
so you're one of the faceless. Will you let me speak to the mother? You think she would speak with a stranger? No, but you are on the right path if you wish to join our ranks. Be patient. What's your name? Kyle Crane. You have a long road ahead of you, Kyle Crane. Do not stray from it. And may this help you in your struggle. That's all we have to say to you for now. You can leave now, newcomer. Jazeer, I gotta ask. Why the hell do you want bolter livers? Those damn filthy bolters. They keep desecrating the graves of our beloved. They eat the corpses we've laid out for the wind to take. Okay, but the livers... For heaven's sake, don't they teach you anything in the city? It's about the smell. You can use it to attract more of the same kind. It's the thremo, thesmo. The pheromones. Yes, that's what I said. Or could you use it to scare them off? And that's what I wanted to say. You learn fast, boy. Okay, so these bolters are attracted to fresh bodies you, what, leave for the wind? Yes. If you see a bolter, just run it over with your car, okay? That'd be much appreciated. And remember about the livers. Hey, Jazeer. Those bandits who took over Aircon's farm. Aren't you afraid they're gonna target you guys next? Here we can handle them, but we're no soldiers. I won't send people to die out there. Well, your set of skills might come in handy in this situation. Just talk to Eski. She'll explain the kind of scum you'll be dealing with. And maybe try to find Polat too. He used to work at Erkam's farm. Maybe he'll have something useful to tell you. Yeah, so you know, Jazir, who's this Sabbat? He was supposed to get you guys some medicine? Yes, yes he was. He was bringing us fresh herbs every single week. But we haven't heard from him for too long now. I know, he's probably dead, but we can't be sure. You don't know the man. He wanted to become one of the Faceless. He wouldn't let himself get killed easily. Well, any idea where I should look for him then? And what about those fevers? You still need some herbs, right? He lived in a hut out on that rocky island. And yes, he always kept medicine there. Just be careful. If something's got to sap it, it's no laughing matter. Tell me about this Sabbat guy. Before the outbreak, what was his job? He was a forest ranger. A proud and brave man. Always said he felt better in the company of animals than people. Yeah, I think I know the type. So he was a natural fit for the faceless? No. That idea came later. He wasn't a believer at first. It was only when he received the mother's blessing that he decided to help her achieve her goals however he could. And that's when he started bringing you medicine? Taking care of some of the needs of our community, yes. And he still lived in the hut? That's, that's quite a commute, especially on foot. And that's what was special about Sabbat. He just wasn't afraid. Not of monsters. Not of the dark, even. He wandered around in the night as if it were nothing special. Thin line between bravery and madness, huh? Hmm. Huh. Hey, Jazeera, who drew this? Oh, that's not important. The kid keeps drawing them. I keep throwing them away. Well, but what's it about? Something the kid's hung up on. His mother took a job in Haran before the outbreak. Left him with his grandparents. She was supposed to send him a gift, I guess. But you know what happened. It doesn't matter. Just toss it. So this whole time, the kid's been waiting on a present? Christ. Sad, I know. But the sooner he gets used to being sad, the better.
Hey, Polar. I'm thinking about heading to Erkan's farm. You're crazy, mister. That's suicide. Hey, let me be the judge of that. Besides, the bandits might target this place next. Let them fucking try. After what they did to that girl, there won't be no mercy. Well, if you feel that way, then why wait? Why not take revenge right now? Don't get all high and mighty with me, mister. We are angry, true, but we are not crazy. You want to get yourself killed? I think I can handle some thugs with guns. I heard you might be able to help me. Jazir said you worked at that farm? Work there I did, true. If you really do want to go there, follow the wall and go east of the entrance. There's a hole in that high wall. You could probably use it to sneak in. Kid, I gotta drop by the post office so I could uh, check and see if your package is there. Do you know what's inside? A present? From Mommy? She wrote and said she was sending me a surprise present. She's coming back after I get it too. And she can play with me again. Eski, have you... Oh. That's, uh... That's Erkan's daughter, right? No. That's not her. That's what's left of her. She was the happiest person I'd ever known, but now... I'm sorry, but... She's, uh... Conscious, right? Conscious, yes. But the longer she lies there, the more I feel like she just doesn't want to live anymore. When she was still speaking, she told me they hurt her. And her mother. They shot her brother in the face, Kyle. Made her watch. All right, I'll take care of it. They won't hurt anyone else. Yeah, of course. Sorry. I just think I've heard it too many times before. Look, I just want to help. Then we are allies now. But it's not enough. Hey, I don't understand. Just wait. Perhaps we owe you an apology, Kyle. You help us, and yet we still do not entirely trust you.
This here got you a bolter, liver. I... <gasps> the hell are you doing? Get away from me with that stink. There's a barrel behind the barn. Go put it there. Oh, God, the smell. Okay, it's in the barrel. Thank you. And please, if you get more, just leave them in the barrel. That stink is just unbearable. <laughs> 